In this video, I'll show you the three modifications required to turn this cheap treadmill from Amazon into a backwards walking treadmill to fix or repair your damaged knees. So let's go. For modification number one, we need to lower the height of this backrest. You can see on the treadmill's design for backwards walking, the backrest sits at about the height of your butt cheeks. But if you follow the assembly instructions on the Amazon treadmill, the handlebars will slope upwards, causing the backrest to be too high. We can fix this by simply swapping the locations of the right and the left upright supports during assembly. Here I am assembling the Amazon treadmill. I'm installing the left upright in the right location and the right upright in the left location. It comes with all the tools required and takes about 20 minutes to fully assemble. If you look close at the handlebars, you see that they're now sloping downwards, which lowers the height of the backrest into a more comfortable position. For modification number two, we need to pad the backrest. I'm using pipe insulation that I picked up at my local hardware store for a couple of dollars. I'm thinking a pool noodle might work well here too. Mine was designed for a one inch diameter pipe and I cut it to 18 inches long. The exact dimensions aren't critical, but the thicker insulation will certainly be more comfortable. Modification number three is probably the most important. Right out of the box, the treadmill has no resistance, which makes it virtually impossible to walk backwards on. If we look again at the treadmill's design for backwards walking, we can see they have a bracket with a knob used to adjust the resistance. Now I thought about fabricating a similar bracket, but decided to just build a padded wedge that goes in this gap here and rubs against the flywheel because it will be easier for you to duplicate at home. You can see I experimented with a range of supplies I purchased from Amazon and kept notes on which materials work the best. Start by purchasing a pack of these large 3M felt pads. Make sure you buy the white material as the brown material doesn't hold up as well. Next, you'll need to purchase a two pack of these door stops also made by 3M. The links for all these parts are in the description below. First, you'll want to use alcohol to thoroughly clean the rubber. If you skip this step, the felt adhesive won't hold up and it'll prematurely let go. If this happens, just clean the old adhesive and stick down a fresh pad. Simply trace the top of the doorstop onto the pad and cut along your line. You'll need a sharp pair of scissors for this step. Once your felt is cut, peel and stick the pad onto the rubber and squeeze hard for a few minutes to set the adhesive. This is what your pad should look like when you're finished. Now to install your wedges, simply push them into the gaps in the treadmill so the felt pad rubs against the flywheel. Then give it a try and test out the resistance. You can increase the resistance by pushing the wedges further into the gap. They're ribbed on the bottom so they'll make an audible click each time they slip further into the gap. There we go, that's more like it. 10 minutes of this and my legs will be on fire. Now be careful when you first add resistance because you may experience slippage shown here. I've added yellow tape to the flywheel to make it easier to see that the treadmill belt is now slipping over the roller. To fix this, you need to tighten the belt. It shows you which way to turn the tightening screws and I recommend half turn increments until the slippage goes away. The treadmill should run perfectly smooth when properly adjusted. And finally, if you're some kind of super athlete and plan on pushing this thing to the max, you probably should consider investing in a treadmill designed for walking backwards like the one sold by ATG. But if you're on a budget and willing to fiddle with the wedges, this system will give your knees a great workout. Again, the links for the treadmill and the wedge components are in the description below. Like or leave a comment if you have any improvement suggestions and consider subscribing for more how-to videos on a variety of other topics.